Hey everybody, today I'm going to talk about how to send an active campaign email update, whether you're sending a special newsletter, sales, anything like that. I'm going to walk through the details of how to go about sending that campaign to your audience and uh, everything that goes along with that. So it should only take a few minutes, just follow along. And if you haven't yet, make sure to hit that like, share, and subscribe button. Uh, turn on the bell for post notifications. Every week I talk about digital marketing hacks, tips, tricks, anything related to growing your business online. For this example, we're going to use my company, Phone Repair Philly. Uh, we use Active Campaign for automated marketing whenever we get new customers, signups, things like that. So you want to first go to activecampaign.com forward slash login. Uh, you'll have your own active hosted account login. So make sure to sign up for that. Uh, they have some pretty good deals and discounts. I'm going to minimize myself here. Once you're logged in, you can see uh, your dashboard with how many contacts, your automations you have set up, new subscribers, clicks, actions, templates, all this great stuff here. What you're gonna wanna do, uh, you can set up automations for if you get a new subscriber or if you get a new customer, sort of like um, you know how you wanna communicate with them. I have a long series of how many? Like 14 different emails and a new repairs campaign. So if we get a new repair customer, it will send them 14 emails over you know 14 weeks or so so I can add to that if I want but what we're gonna do is go to campaigns and you can either create a campaign from scratch using just uh, no template or a, a template that they have uh, you use a standard campaign or you can split test a B test it half and half or set up auto responders triggers so on and so forth uh, for the sake of this video, I'm just going to show you what I like to do once I already have a campaign that I use and send out, like this one right here. Uh, you can view the report and all this stuff, or you can duplicate it. So we're going to go in here and hit duplicate, duplicate the campaign, and right here it is in a draft. We're going to continue and rename this. Uh, May 2nd spring specials and let's call it phone sales it's gonna do a standard campaign uh, we're gonna to go to all new repairs so these are the all the new customers or all the total customers so you can choose your list and segment that and then here's where you customize it uh, what I want to do is use probably just like two graphics and then a couple buttons I don't really like how the email looks um, but what you can do once you're in here you can change the headline change some of the text uh, change the links for these customize the font the padding the size any linking you can link out to things you can make a border around certain buttons make it look better like that change the border color all those good things spring specials you know, this is where you can put more information. You can customize this really however you want. Um, we do have some new specials on phones. You can link out to other things here. So this one links out to a custom inventory spreadsheet. Some of our pricing for buybacks. Uh, we're going to, you can add a new file, so you can upload that here. And then you just select the image. What I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this down here. Show you how to add some text. Just drop, drag, and drop. This is how you can center things. We're gonna bold this whole thing here. Make the font a little bit bigger. That's how you change the font size. You can even link this out to another page. <clears throat> you can add or remove things. 
touches little sections. So let's say you're happy with this. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna change this text here. If you're happy with everything and how it looks, you can go to next. And then you can name the campaign. your phone this spring buy sell fix trade upgrade at Billy. You can send a test out, see how that looks. Go back in here. You can see your subject, your pre-header, from and reply to. Make sure you have a reply to email so you get any responses back to you. You can choose whatever address you want on file for it to show at the bottom. You can turn on any uh, automations, link tracking, reply tracking, Google Analytics, so on and so forth. You can schedule it to go out at a certain date and time, which is nice. You can send the test email. And you can do a little desktop preview to see how that looks on desktop. fine to me. I like a design with like probably more images and maybe just like one flat image could look really good with one link, maybe a couple buttons. Then once you're happy with everything, you can save and exit or you can send now or you can choose to hit send now with the, the scheduling option turned on. So I'm just going to save and exit or we could send now. It's got it named here as a draft. Continue. Just go back in there, turn it on. And that's really how you create and you know, uh, put together a new email campaign with Active Campaign in a very quick fashion. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Active Campaign is a great piece of software and CRM system. Uh, it, you know, it serves as both. So you can actually look over here and see can, your contacts, deals, conversations, lists. There's a lot of really great stuff you can do with this. I'm underutilizing it, as I'm sure most of us are, but hopefully you found this helpful. Uh, if you need any help with digital marketing, just give us a call, email, or go to our website, schedule an appointment. And thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next week and keep hustling.